with Marietta Rooley, the uh, fifth district congressional candidate for the uh, Democratic Party. Your uh, candidate in the uh, wonderful district, represented by Dan Burton, we're hoping to replace him with Marietta. How uh, how are things going in the district? Uh, actually, they're going pretty well. Ned. They're excited about getting a new member of Congress for one thing. <laughs> Excellent. Good to hear. Good to hear. So what would you like to tell the folks of Blue Indiana about uh, what's going on there? In the district? Yeah. Well, I think for right now it might be easier to, to point out what hasn't gone on. And uh, there has not been a lot of work done, uh, a lot of representation by the incumbent, and that's going to change. We're going to come up with a vision. Uh, we're going to get jobs back. We're going to get a positive education culture, oil independence. So there's the fifth district. I think is very well blessed in its geographic location. And in the northern part, we can have wind turbine farms. We can have solar farms. There's a lot of things that we can do. Uh, Health care is a major complex problem, and we all have to work on that. Uh, but the main thing is the economy, jobs. Education, uh, bringing uh, our troops gradually from Iraq and taking that money that's being spent there and putting it into infrastructure, education, health care. Uh, there's, there's just a, a lot of things to do and uh, to reverse these, these past eight years. Absolutely, there's a whole lot of work to be done. The same. Yeah, absolutely. And, so, uh, what do you think of the uh, the, the pick of uh, Governor Powell as McCain's running mate? I enjoyed her speech last night. Mm -hmm. uh, what what concerns me is that she's not just a heartbeat away from the presidency. She's a half a heartbeat away from the presidency, and I think we need to seriously take that into consideration. And I do not believe that she has the foreign affairs experience that's desperately needed, you know, in a situation like that. I mean, we've already seen what happened in 9-11. Uh, uh, many people think it's going to happen again. Uh, in Russia, they seem to be going back, you know, to the old days. Yeah, it does seem like the Cold War is starting all over again. Like the Cold War is starting all over again. Uh, I just... My, my, my concerns are the same. I, I think that she's got a uh, foreign policy deficit that uh, that uh, Obama and Biden do not have. And, and so I, I, I think you're, you're dead on accurate with that. Well, if there's one thing that you'd like to tell the voters of the 5th District and the uh, readers of Blue Indiana, what, what would that one thing be? Well, if I'm elected to Congress, and I believe I will be, be no more telling people that they're not going to be represented because they didn't vote for me. The door will always be open. They're hiring me to do a job. They're investing in me to do that job. They're hiring me to represent them, and that's exactly what I will do. They may not always like what I say, but I will always be honest with them. I will always act with integrity, and I will always represent them. And I will do my very, very best to attain prosperity, peace, and progress. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for taking time out at the Hobnob, and uh, we hope you have a uh, very successful November. Thank you very much. It just requires voting. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Joe.